Hello, and welcome to Deploy Intune 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Intune as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. My name is Roy, and this video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. We start this episode here, looking at Microsoft's documentation website, which describes steps on how to set up APNS or Apple MDM Push for Intune. Apple MDM Push Certificate is a requirement and a prerequisite in order for Intune to manage iOS, iPadOS and Mac OS devices. In order to generate an MDM Push Certificate for those types of devices, we need to sign up to Apple with an Apple ID account and then integrate the MDM Push Certificate with Intune. In order to integrate Apple Push Notification Service with Intune, we must first start on a specialist Apple website, which is called the APNS Portal. The URL for this portal is https colon forward slash forward slash identity dot apple dot com forward slash push cert. This will be shown on screen for you also. First of all, we must create an Apple ID. If you already have an Apple ID, do ensure it is not accessible by a wide audience. Keep this Apple ID very controlled within a closed group of administrators. So I will go ahead and create a brand new Apple ID for the purpose of this training video. Okay, so I now have an Apple ID created for the purpose of integrating Apple push notification service with Intune. I'll go ahead and log in with that account. Apple will now prompt me for a two-factor authentication code. And now you can see we're logged into the Apple Push Certificates portal. In order to get started, we will select Create a Certificate. We will briefly read through the Apple Terms of Use. Ensure your company legal department are happy with the terms and conditions of signing up to the Apple Push Certificate portal, as this can be quite important for large organisations. Once you're happy, select I have read and agree to the terms and conditions. You can, of course, print off a version of the terms of use before you go ahead and press accept. We will now move over to our Endpoint Manager or Intune portal in order to begin the process of integration. So within the Endpoint Manager console, we want to select Devices from the left-hand side menu. Under Device Enrollment, Enroll Devices, Apple Enrollment, under Prerequisites, Apple MDM Push Certificate. At step one, we want to agree that we would give Microsoft permission to send both the user and device information to Apple. And then at step two, we want to download the Intune certificate signing request. At this point, we need to go back to the Apple Push Certificates portal in order to upload the CSR. As you can see, there is a text field called Notes. The reason for this is to give an organisation an appropriate name for the MDM Push Certificate. This is so an organisation can recognise this as a production certificate so they are not confused as to which renewal is required after 365 days. So I will go ahead and 
put a basic note in here. I will then select the choose file button. Select the Intune CSR.CSR file. Select Open. You can see that has now uploaded. I will press the Upload button. And here we are. The certificate confirmation and generation has been confirmed. And here you can see the certificate has been generated and Apple have confirmed the certificate is available for management. Rather than pressing manage certificates, we will select download. Then head back into our endpoint manager or Intune console. At step three, we have already created our MDM push certificate within the Apple push notification portal. At step four, we want to repeat the same Apple ID that we have used to generate the certificate in the Apple push certificates portal. In my instance, this is training at uemauthority.com. We then want to browse to find the MDM push certificate that we recently downloaded from Apple. This should be in the format of a .pem or PEM file. Once you have uploaded the certificate, press upload. As you can see in the top right hand corner, uploading your MDM push certificate, your MDM push certificate was successfully created. So scrolling up in this dialog box, we can see within the endpoint manager console that the Apple push notification service integration has been completed. We have a status of active, the expiry or the validity of the certificate is 365 days last updated, which was today's date, and then the expiry date, which should be in one year's time, so one year from today. The Apple ID that was used to generate the certificate, a unique subject ID, and also a unique serial number has been assigned to the certificate and integration binding. Now we have integrated the prerequisite Apple MDM push certificate you will see the other services related to Apple will light up within the Endpoint Manager portal. These things are Apple Configurator, Enrollment Program Tokens, and also Enrollment Types. Moving from Apple Management to Android Management, we can see here from the Microsoft Documentation website in order for us to manage Android Enterprise within Intune, we first must attach our tenant with the managed Google Play Store. In order to attach our tenant with the managed Google Play Store, we head into our Endpoint Management Console or Intune Console. We select Devices, Enroll Devices, under Android Enrollment, we select Managed Google Play Integration. Within the Managed Google Play dialog box, at step one, we select I agree. By pressing this toggle box, you agree to allow Microsoft permission to send both user information and device information to Google. At step two, we select Launch Google to connect now. Now at this point, you can either sign in with a pre-created Google account. Now bear in mind this Google account cannot be part of a G Suite or Workspace Enterprise. 
it must be a consumer Google Play or Google account. So for the purpose of this training video, we will go through and create a Google account. So we press sign in, create an account for myself. Do not select to manage my business as manage Google Play does not support G Suite or Workspace. You can see the Google account has now been created in the top right corner. We can see we are signed in with that account. And you'll see that the uh, button on the left hand side here has changed from sign in to get started. We will go ahead and press the get started button. You are now asked to provide a business name. We will again follow the same tradition. Give this a name as UEM authority. You'll see here the pre-populated enterprise mobility management service provider is Microsoft Intune. When you're happy with this, press next. Now you may want to provide a data protection officer contact details and also an EU representative contact details if your organization is representable in the EU. Um, my organization is not, so I will leave these fields blank. As you can see, they're not required, so you can skip past them. However, you must uh, toggle the box down here to say you have read and agreed the Manage Google Play agreement. Press confirm when you are ready to proceed. And then select complete registration. You will see in the top right hand corner in the endpoint manager console, manage Google Play successfully configured. And then underneath within the dialog box, you can see status is set up. Organization is UEM authority. The Google account is the um, personal Google account that I created for the purpose of the training video. And the registration date is today on the 13th of May, 2021. And those are the steps for integrating Manage Google Play with Endpoint Manager or Intune. Once Manage Google Play Store has been integrated with your Endpoint Manager or Intune console, you will see the enrollment profiles for Android Enterprise appear ready for configuration.